Good morning. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may truly lovely, love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. A reading from Revelations. I looked again, I saw a huge crowd. Too huge to count. Everyone was there, all nations and tribes, all races and languages. And they were standing, dressed in white robes and waving palm branches, standing before the throne and the Lamb and partly singing, Salvation to our God on his throne, salvation to the Lamb. All who were standing around the throne, angels, elders, animals, fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing. Oh yes, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving, the honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever and ever. Oh yes. Just then one of the elders addressed me. But who are these dressed in white robes? And where did they come from? Taken aback, I said, Oh sir, I have no idea. You must know. Then he said to me, These are those who come from the grand tribulation, and they washed their robes rub them clean and blood the lamb. That's why they're standing before God's throne. They serve him day and night in his temple. The one on the throne will pitch his tent here for them. No more hunger, no more thirst, no more scorching heat. The lamb on the throne will shepherd them, will lead them to spring waters of life, and God will wipe every last tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks to God. God. He is Psalm 34. I bless God every chance I get. My lungs expand with his praise. And I live be God. If things aren't going well, hear this and be happy. Join me in spreading the news. Together, let's get the word out. God made me more than halfway. He freed me from my anxious fears. <laughs> Look at him. Give him your warmest smile. Never hide your feelings from him. When I was dead, I called out, and the God got me out of the tight spot. God's angel sets up a circle of protection around us while we pray. Open, Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good God is. Blessed are you who run to him. Worship God if you want the best. Worship opens doors to all his goodness. You know, no one is on the ground and hungry. The God's seekers are full of God. God pays for each slave's freedom. No one who writes to him loses out. A reading from John. What longer love the Father has 
has extended to us. Just look at it. We're called children of God. Those who we really are. That's also why the world doesn't recognize us and take us seriously. Because he doesn't have no idea who he is or what he's up to. But friends, that's exactly who we are. Children of God, and that's only the beginning. Who knows how God will end up? What we know is that when Christ is openly revealed, we'll see him. And in seeing him, become like him. All of us who look forward to his coming, we step, stay ready. With the glistening purity of Jesus' life as a model for our own, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The third reading is from Matthew. When Jesus saw his ministry drawing huge crowds, he climbed a hillside. Those who were apprenticed to him, the committed, climbed with him. Arriving at a quiet place, he sat down and taught his climbing companions. This is what he said. You're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and his rule. You're blessed when you feel you've lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. You're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He's food and drink and the best meal you've ever eaten. You're blessed when you care. At the moment of being careful, you'll find yourselves cared for. You're blessed when you get inside your world, your mind and your heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. You're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution. The persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Not only that, count yourselves blessed every time people put you down or throw you out or speak lies about you to discredit me. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort and they are uncomfortable. You can be glad when that happens. Give a cheer even. For though they don't like it, I do. And all heaven applauds. And know that you are in good company. My prophets and my witnesses have always gotten into this kind of trouble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us recite a creed, an affirmation of our faith. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things remain. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Through the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the people. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who are for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For 
for Michael, our presiding bishop, and Carly, our bishop, and for all bishops and other ministers. The world will serve God in this church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. Hear us, Lord. Oh, your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O oh God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. We also remember all of those that we celebrate on this All Saints Day. Al Manuel, Al Smear, Alfred A. Manuel, Alfred Johnson, Alice Billings, Amelia Rankin, Ann Greco, Ann Shibahara, Anna Di Ferrari, Alfred Park, Bernice Moon, Bernice. Johnson, Bob DeGeorges, Buzz Johansson, Carl H. Farber, Carol Roberts, Clyde Holloway, David Salter, Dimitri Lessa Mahalava, Dorothy Folks, Dorothy Steer, Edna Manandoro, Edna Nandorf, Eileen Hodges, and Elizabeth Nicola. Ellen Overton, Emily Ferrari, Ethel Stevenson, Fanny Thar, Fletcher Harper, Brandy Ferrari, Frank Caffaro, Frank J. D. Ferrari, George Olson, George Salter, Grace Allen, Hank Allen Jr., Hank Sauerborn, Helen Allen, Helen Grafeld, Helen Graham, Henry Allen Sr., Henry Reinecke, Herbert Schumann, Howard Seacrest, Jack Fitzgerald, James Morgan, Jennifer Susan Kent, Jimmy Morgan, Joanne Barbara Salaborn, Joseph Ferrard, Joseph Sanko, Jude DeGeorges, Kay Cypress, Lila Weldon James, Larry D. Ferrard, Lawrence Overton, Lee Jeffers, Lorraine Sulter Richter, Louis Olson, Lucille Russell, Margaret Uhans, Maria Louisa Schumann, Mary Sauerborn, <coughs> Melody Dinkle, Michelle Daniel Pierinska, Michael Kent, Michael Salter, Molly Toussaint, Myron Kovett, Olga Colvett, Olive D. Schumann, Oscar Paul Olson, Pat D. Ferrari, Patrick Duffy, Paul Schumann, Pearl Park, Peggy Robinson. Michael Daniel Pinerska, Peggy Robinson, Penny Roberts, Phyllis Cannon, Reverend Ivor Chassant, Rudy Schnelling, Richard McHugh, Richard Smith, Robert Dinkle, Roger Brown, Donald Toussaint, Russell Kent, Ruth Olson, Sharon Conroy, Stanley Russell, Stephanie Sanko, Susan Steele, Ted Grayfell, Victoria Cash, William Fulbert, William Robinson. Nicola Di Ferrari, Celestina Di Ferrari, Harry Palmer, Evelyn Train, Andrew Luther, Sandra Blanke, Donald Dryden, and Mary Emma Dryden, and I'd like to add Shannon. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live to serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The peace of, the, the peace of our Savior be always with you. Amen. Please give your neighbors a sign of peace.
I will tell you, it is not nearly once it once was to uh, remember to change your clocks because so many things change automatically now. So uh, automatically, yes, that's a technical term, automatically. The other announcement I have, I make this one every year, when you change your clocks, check your smoke detectors and uh, CO detectors, make sure you replace the batteries, and if they're 10 years old, and I didn't know this one until a couple years back, if they're 10 years old or older, you need to replace them. They're only good for 10 years. Next Sunday is going to be our annual meeting. We have, oh, we have a So let's sing happy birthday to Lauren and Barbara. question that got asked um, it was asked what Sunday that is and the answer right now is TBD so it's occurring but they're still hammering out the details uh, Shanna you have you have you go ahead you do it you, last... you get up here with me that's the way this works <laughs> oh yeah come on <laughs> So apparently this is my turn. If you thought it was trouble raising one child, there's another one coming. So So now listen, we've increased church membership by two. I want to see all of you. Yeah, what, what, what have you all done? How many, how many members have you brought? But, yeah, so. I don't know. I'm not saying you have to do it that way. Just in general, you know. So yes, thank you. Somebody doesn't know what an older sister is yet, but she's going to be trouble. Yeah, huh? going to be trouble? Okay. No. Oh, thanks. Oh, where are you going? You want to go over there? You, you want to sit there? Okay. I'll put you down. You're going to stay out of trouble, right? No. Not even close. Oh, look at that. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice pleasing to God. <laughs>
things come of thee, O Lord. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, The gifts of God for you, the people of God. We say our post-communion prayer together. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you, gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer of all, be with us now and always. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is hymn 293.
Let's go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.